Well, hello travelers, and today is a Traveling Around Friday, and we have come to a spot that some of our fellow travelers, Heather and John, said that we definitely need to try stuff a bagel right behind the Magic Kingdom. Unfortunately, Michelle is not here with me today because she is on her way to work, and I am on my way to work to Epcot to work for Greg McCullough. So come along, let's grab some breakfast here at Stuff a Bagel and see what they have to offer us today. Stuff a Bagel is in the Wintermere Center. It is on Reams Road. And when I say directly behind Magic Kingdom, that is the Magic Kingdom parking lot right there. But Stuff a Bagel is in this little shopping center along with Playa Pizza that we've reviewed in the past. It's a cute little shop right here in the plaza, right beside Playa Pizza, which we've done a review before. But this is Stuff a Bagel. New York boiled bagels. They are made fresh here from what we have been told. A lot of cast members come here to get breakfast early in the morning because they open at 5 and they are open until 2.30 and they do serve sandwiches as long as they have their sandwich bread available. It is a cute little interior in here, but like I said, they make all their breads and bagels fresh. So we're gonna get a bagel for breakfast on our way over to Epcot. I honestly have never seen that Festival of Fantasy print right there for the 50th. That's pretty neat. Take a the look at the menu right there. Like I said, they do to serve lunch. They serve on bagel, roll, or wrap right there, their sandwiches. But we are going with the traditional bagel that I judge everybody by. They also have uh, muffins and stuff like that. All of their drinks are bottled drinks, so they don't have any fountain drinks, which is fine. And then they have this beautiful stuff of bagel. What is this? This looks good. This is some. Oh my gosh, that looks really good. I don't know what that is, but um, I may have to get a piece before I leave. No, I'm going to work. I, I don't need this today. But that's more. They got all kinds of little history stuff of Disney and of New York because that's where they're from. And that is where they, um, like I said, it is all handmade. They come in really early to make these bagels. Looks like they got some cherry. Um, <laughs> Oh, with this, I'm, I'm going to have to cut Bon Jovi out. We got cherry pastries there, blueberry right there, some other pastries. And that is first come, first serve pretty much because once they run out, they are out for the day. But that is the bagels right back there that they cut up and get ready for you. And they do have a co coffee station right here with all the accoutrements right over here for that. Just realized the accoutrement table is made out of a um, police Vespa from up in New York. That is pretty awesome. Had to come out to the car, um, first off, because of the music. Uh, you know how hard with YouTube it is to um, get music passed. Um, you don't want to get no copyright infringement. So I came out to the car. It's been a while since I filmed in the car. Um, they do have tables in there, but it was also very busy. A lot of cast members come here because, like I said, they are literally right across the street from the parking lot of the Magic Kingdom. And I'm going to show you a view real quick. So that is Reams Road right there, and that is the parking lot to Magic Kingdom. So when I say it's right behind Magic Kingdom, this place is literally right behind Magic Kingdom. Did bring a cup of coffee from home this morning. Also, when you go to Stuff a Bagel, um, before we get started, they do offer cast member discounts, first responder discounts, um, senior discounts, which he asked, but no. I'm not that old yet. Yeah, I was old enough to get a senior discount if I wanted first responder and military discount. So make sure if you're one of those to let them know and they will give you a discount. Travelers, as always, we wanna thank you for all your support for traveling around Disney along with merchandise. Thank you so much. And some of the folks that have gotten t-shirts, thank you so much. Um, Michelle works really hard on those. She designs them all and prints and we actually press everything. We do, she does everything at the house. So that's pretty awesome. If you have not, oh my air conditioner went haywire on me. If you are not yet a subscriber, before we get started on this bagel review, hit that subscribe and like button down below. And now, 
Let's try this bagel from Stuff a Bagel. I judge all bagel places by one bagel and one bagel only. Um, this bagel was $4.50. I got it toasted. All bagels should be judged by an everything bagel toasted with cream cheese and butter. And that is it right there. Cream cheese and butter. I love the bottoms, the toasty parts. It, that, like I said, I did get this toasted. Heather and John, um, fellow travelers, told me to come here. We had to give it a try. I wanted to come with Michelle, but she had to work today. And we've tried to come for lunch before, but they're always out of the rolls. So um, we weren't able to do that. Had to turn off the air real quick. Making too much noise. Okay, so here we go. Plenty of cream cheese and butter in there. Toasted. Going to give it a try. This is how every... If you ever go to bagel shops, always get the one bagel that you always love to see if that's the place you want to go again. So here we go. Okay. It is a um, New York style boiled bagel. Nice tough crust, but nice and fluffy inside. That cream cheese and butter just melts together because it has been toasted. They had um, cinnamon raisin in there. They had some French toast. Of course, they had plain French toast bagel. Plain bagels. Um, I think I've seen a blueberry in there. Pretty good selection, but they make them fresh every morning, so you got to come early if you're looking for something that they run out of. Once they run out of, they're out of them because they're only open until 2.30. They also make breakfast sandwiches with their bagels, with eggs and meats and stuff like that, hams, bacon, all that good stuff. But I always judge, just like pizza, places you always judge from one pizza. Mine's usually a pepperoni and cheese. Or you judge from Italian, I always go chicken parmesan. If, you, if it's not a good chicken parmesan, I don't know how the rest of the dishes are good. But this bagel... I will definitely bring Michelle back. It's got enough seasoning on top, but it's not overly garlicky and all that stuff. You know, sometimes it's too much onions or too much garlic. This is just the right blend of all the seasons. Like I said, nice crust on it, nice tough. I really enjoy this bagel. This is pretty good. Just sitting here enjoying this bagel before I go to work. I'm working at Epcot today, Festival of the Arts with Greg McCullough. Um, I usually work there on Thursdays. I love, this is my second year with them, and I'll be with them as long as they'll have me, and as long as the art festival goes on, and as long as they're there. Um, so, cannot wait. And once we get there, stay to the end of this video, because I'll show you my favorite piece of McCullough art, which you could probably tell from the shirt and my new watch from Lori and Todd right there, my Tiki Room what it involves so um i'll show you that picture i'll show you some of the other art that he has he does a great job great beautiful work he's one of my favorites there i've got a couple others that as the festival goes along we'll hopefully get to show you guys the festival goes so quick it's only six weeks and i wish it was longer but i understand that the artists you know are usually there and it's a big um time restraint on them so that i totally understand that's one that's my favorite because it's six weeks it's here and there and then it's done and it's not oversaturated oversaturated i believe but this bagel this could be considered a work of art because this is really good hmm. okay i'm gonna finish up this half a bagel save my other half when i get to work um i hope you enjoyed this short quick little review of stuff a bagel right behind Magic Kingdom on Reams Road. Give them a try. Try one of their um, sandwiches. Or if you have tried Stuff a Bagel, let me know in the comments down below what we should try when I bring Michelle back. I would really, I'm, we're definitely coming back because it's really close to the house and close to work. So until then, travelers, like we always say, travel and adventure is out there. 
I should have got some bagels to take home, but I am on the way to work. I don't know if they'd make it till 4.30, so I'll have to come back early in the morning one day to get some bagels for the house. So that's always an option also. Absolutely love this piece by Greg. This might be acquired this year. I'm not sure. Sometimes I get a piece as I work for him. Last year I got four pieces. This is the one, but let me show you my favorite. So my favorite piece, I mean, there's great pieces. You can see them all around me here. Right there, right there. But right there, the Jungle Cruise. That was the piece I got last year. So in honor of that piece right there, that's where I wore my Jungle Cruise and my Tiki Room watch today. Yeah. 